The Super Bowl in Miami is less than three weeks away, and the big events leading up to the game are even closer, with practically the entire country watching and millions more around the world. Hosting the Super Bowl properly takes years of planning. It takes a lot of people to pull it off, and we want to get an update right now on how things are going from the man overseeing this big job. Ronnie Barreto is the chairman of the and president of the Super Bowl host committee, and he joins us now. Great to see you, Rodney. Oh, it's great seeing you. Great seeing you, Shabazz. Right. Nice Rudabay. Uh, Rudabay. <laughs> bring us up to date. Bring us up to date on the preparations for the big game. You know, it's we've been working for the last two years really nonstop, and uh, you know the NFL's in town. They're on the ground themselves. Um, we're having all kinds of security meetings. We have a big security mock drill tomorrow. Um, but uh, you, if you go through the airport, you go through Bayfront Park, you see the build out of Super Bowl Live, which is a free event to the public. And in the airport, I had people call me today, sending me pictures of the, all the signage that's going up. So this, the town is at buzz now that we're down to four teams. I mean, everybody, I'm getting calls from all over, the, you know, at least from four cities of things, things and locations to, that they may be able to take advantage of. It's super exciting. So you mentioned security. How are, how are the um, security challenges shaping up, especially with these tensions with Iran right now? You know, it's, this has always been what they call a SEER 1 event, and where the President of the United States nominates someone as his personal representative to the to the federal resources. And the federal resources are the Bears, the Department of Defense, Homeland Security, uh, you know, all those different branches of, of the United States government are here. Some you, you'll see and some you won't see, but they're here because this is obviously a big game. You, someone who wanted to make a big statement would, would want to make it a game like this. But we're, we're very, very confident. We have a very, very experienced Miami-Dade Police Department who's leading our effort locally uh, uh, that's done this game. This is our 11th game. That's a record breaking. We've done it 10 times That's before, right. so time. everybody's trying to follow us and beat us, so we're, we're in good shape. Okay, and, and as you know more than anybody else, this is not just one game. That's correct. Uh, let's talk about the activities taking place around the Super Bowl. There's the NFL experience, and then you have a big thing going on in downtown Miami. Tell us about that. So that's Super Bowl Live. That's new to, to, to us in Miami and South Florida, and that's going to be a free event for the public to come down. We're going to have music, all kinds of activations. We're going to we're building a temporary marina out front of the park. We're going to have fireworks. We're going to have water displays. We're going to have a culinary event. We're even going to have the Python Award by the governor. Is going to, <laughs> the governor is going to give the Python awards for the amount of pythons that are There's caught. There's been a lot of them. Oh, wow. the yeah, they yeah, have. That's yeah. very exotic, especially from people from out <laughs> yeah. of town. Okay, let's talk about money. How much is all this going to cost taxpayers, and how much do you expect is going to be pumped into the local economy? You know, it's um, we kind of keep our numbers quite, kind of to ourselves, but if it wasn't for the state of Florida, especially Miami-Dade County, the city of Miami and city of Miami Beach, we couldn't pull this off. But the benefits are huge. If you think about it, a 30-second commercial uh, on the NFL is $5.5 million. Do you know how many 30-second commercials we're going to get? Well in excess of $150 million, just in exposure for the, for the region, for Miami, that name going out, Miami. We're going to have 5,000 press from all over the world here to cover this game. And they're going to be talking about everything. It's not just football. It's, that's much more than a game. But, and, but taxpayers don't get, get an idea about how much they're going to be spending on any of this. They, they do. When after there's an after action report, we have we did hire an economist, which we do all the time, a third party economist to do a study. To your point, the last two or three Super Bowls, it's been north of four hundred million dollars of economic impact. We believe it's going to be well well past that for us, and, and the taxpayers are going to get their money's worth. I mean. And you mentioned the event uh, taking place in downtown Miami. The NFL experience is taking place in Miami Beach. It seems like this time around, Miami Dade is getting a bigger chunk of the Super Bowl than Broward. Explain that. Why is that happening? So, if, if you recall, in 2010, the majority of events were actually in Broward, That's believe right. it or not. And so, and this one, when the redevelopment of the stadium took place, Mayor Jimenez negotiated with Steve Ross, the owner, that the majority of the events would have to take place in Miami. And therefore, that's why the name of the change went from South Florida Super Bowl Host Committee to the Miami Super Bowl Host Committee. So, the majority of events are here. Broward is going to have the Taste the NFL, which is a marquee event. And listen, their hotel, their airports are a buzz. We have a big NFL block of rooms up in Broward County. Uh, they're they're going to they're do fine. The whole region is going to do fine. Palm Beach County to Monroe County is going to do great. I'm sure that Hard Rock Hotel there is going to do just <laughs> they're, they're sold out. They, they wish they had another hotel, another a second guitar. I'm yeah. sure they're yeah. thrilled. So we were talking before uh, we went on the air about how Miami's the hottest city, not only in the country, but in the world right now. What 
do you want people who come visit and who see it on TV to take away from, from all the festivities here? Well, what they're going to see in Miami if you, if from 10 years ago, if you stop and think about it, Uber, Lyft, Airbnb did not exist 10 years ago. The tunnel to the Port of Miami, the train bright line from Palm Beach to Mi downtown Miami did not exist. All these emerging neighborhoods, think about Brickell, Wynwood, the Design District, Alapata, all those were just coming out of the ground but not on fire like they are now. And if you can think of all the great restaurants on this side of the bay, we always think of Miami Beach and we're not saying nothing bad about Miami Beach. Miami Beach is Miami Beach, it's iconic. Uh, and, and they're gonna have an incredible amount of activity there. Uh, but there, there's gonna there's a lot to do on this side of the bay because there's gonna be all kinds of activations at Mana Center. Uh, they're gonna Winwoods. They, they're gonna have Shaq's gonna have a big party there on Watson Island Direct TV. If you've been by Watson Island lately, they're building a huge five million dollar facility and they hired Lady Gaga to perform there to like a thousand people. So I mean, there is this town is gonna be a buzz with entertainment. How much are people spending for the Super Bowl parties, the suites, or even just to get one ticket to the Super Bowl? Let's say. You know, Ali, it's uh, face value on the, on the ticket I think the, the the least amount is 1,000 it goes probably up to about 6,500 face value for one ticket for one ticket okay. but I think the, there's a multiplier effect to that the, that ticket is it's exchanging hands two or three times before someone actually sits in that seat but how much are people uh, uh companies and groups paying for these suites. They're Give us an idea. Well, I would say, you know, an 18 person suite, people are paying 300,000 plus. Yeah, yeah. And it's, you know, first of all, you gotta look at, look at Hard Rock Stadium. It only fits 65,000. Remember, it used to fit 72,000. It's a very comfortable stadium. Uh, and I often tell people, you know, Miami is not the hottest city in America. It's the hottest city in the world. Everybody wants to be in Miami in Especially February. Especially this time of year. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Well, if absolutely. anybody knows how to throw a Super Bowl party, it's you, sir. Thanks, Elliot, <laughs> man. It's great seeing you. Nice to see you. Thank you so great. much for being here. Thank Appreciate you for having me.